What's up guys, today is Thursday. Y'all know what day it is. Mac Tools Thursday. So let's see what Mac Daddy Michael's got. You guys, come on. Uh-oh, got the flyer out. Must be some deals this week. Oh, yeah. I got in a couple more. They sold so good, I had to reorder on them. I never uh, know that. Got in your parasitic draw tester. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of guys will go through and try to rig all this up and piece part it together to, to work with their meter. But and, Yeah, those uh, are a nice set. I've got one of those in a... Man, makes life a lot easier. <clears throat> you know, once you let those modules go to sleep, you can pretty much pinpoint it pretty quickly with one of those. Yeah, you know, for thirty-six ninety-nine, you get the tester, and then you also get a battery terminal cleaner to go with it. That's cheap, thirty thirty-seven bucks mm -hmm. for that. So here the part number is for you guys, because somebody's gonna want that. That's cool. Max still got a bunch of them. Get with your dealers and tell them to get you one of them. Those right left. there are awesome too. Yeah, I got I got a couple of those hanging up. I yeah. just put on here this morning too. They're back there behind you. Yep, there one is. Got two orange left. My greens are already gone. Yeah, those are nice. It's hard to beat them right there. <clears throat> which I've got an analog tester and the digital. Those digitals are just so easy. Just stick them on, mash a button. You know, obviously you gotta pick whether it's an AGM mm -hmm. or not, and then set your cold cranking amps and let her set. But the starting test is what's really good on those. The way you can start the car and it tells you. Sees what it draws to. Yep, that's really good. Sure enough. I got one of the DeWalt kits left with the free grinder. Oh, yeah. Half yeah. three eighths and a light, two batteries and a charger impact, but then you also get the four and a half inch angle grinder with it for free right now. I got one of them left. I don't remember what the price was on that kit. Six, like it was 639, so I mean 640 bucks, you get a half and three eighths impact, a light, and a grinder. What was the, uh, what was the breakaway on that impact? I believe it's 1,200 foot-pounds. Breakaway 1,200, fastening 700. And how many batteries does that come two. with? Two. Two batteries. And that's two fives, I believe. Wow. So for it's not like a big and little, they're both the big ones. That's good for $700. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it really is. <laughs> yeah. I like that new, uh, the one you showed a couple of weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, that flex volt or whatever. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. I bet that thing will do pretty good with a 60 volt battery on it. Oh yeah. Um, and that's one thing. I don't know if I got any up here. Um, oh, there's some peanuts. Yep. The, I don't know if a lot of people know, but the 60 volt flex volts you can take the 60 volt flex volt battery and run a 20 volt tool. Golly. And you just get a little bit more run time out of it because you're not pulling but 20 volts of it. Right. And, Man, uh, could you imagine, because them little bit drivers, well, the DeWalt drill that I have come with a, a drill and a bit driver. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that bit driver lasts forever on one of those, <laughs> just a little battery. Right. <laughs> You could probably run that thing right there for a month and never have mm -hmm. to. But look how big it is. Though. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's got some weight to it, too. But it's I mean, a hoss. if you got, you know, trying to run a grinder or a saw yeah. saw or skill saw. I mean, so that, you know. that battery would run the 20 volt grinder for a good while. Probably. Right. It, um, but you cannot run a 60 volt tool with a 20 volt battery. So. Makes sense. And that's another new deal I just got into. 
That is uh, the mid torque, half inch mid torque. Oh yeah, by the wall. I just got some. What's the breakaway on it? Uh, it's three thirty fast and six hundred breakaway. That's that's enough. And it's com <laughs> you know, compact. You know. That's enough. Around the house, I mean, that'd take care of anybody, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, pretty much in a shop, too. I mean, you know, 600 foot-pounds is a lot. It is. You know, people's always got this fascination now of you got to have over a 1,000 or I don't even want it, you know. I don't know about you, but I don't like breaking bolts off that much. I mean, your average diesel pickup lug nut's not but, like, torques to 180 foot-pounds. Mm-hmm. You know, which most of your tire shops just da 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 da, da you know, but yep. I mean. So that's one thing we do here. If we pull a tire off, it gets a torque wrench put on it. Mm -hmm. I don't care. It's a little trailer tire, like a little 14 inch bolt trailer tire or, you know, a big truck. We, we torque wheels here. That's kind yeah, of stickler yeah. about that. You saving yourself in the long run. I mean, therefore you aren't over tightening and breaking right. studs or well, under tightening. What size is that one? 32 and 30. Wow. That's a big one. Yeah. And they're, it's a good deep offset too. Yeah. Some aren't real deep, but those the, those expert ones are good and deep. Yeah, that's what I'm, I ended up buying a expert to run overheads with just because it was deeper than mm -hmm. the rest of them. Yep, yeah, they, uh, they do good. Um, let's see if I can find that. Trying to remember where I put it. That this is a deal to where a lot of your new vehicles are coming out with plastic drain drain plugs on. Yeah, yeah. And it's actually in the flyer right now too. But it uh, comes with your little T handle wrench and. You know, whether they, it's pretty much three different ones that we've seen so far. You just pop it on, it's got your Allen there, therefore you can't over tighten them, you mm -hmm. know, uh, and mess them up. And then it's got your split one there. Right. For the wing nuts. Mm -hmm. And then also, I'm not sure which one that one fits, but that's an, another one that they're doing now. And that's crazy. And then a plastic drain plug. Mm hmm. Which a lot of cars has got plastic drain paint, you know, the, the oil actual pan. oil pans plastic and the freaking transmission plans pans plastic. I'm like, come on. What happens with plastic when it gets hot and cold, hot and cold and over time? Very brittle. That's what I'm thinking. It ain't going to take but one rock or cat or dog or <laughs> something. Yeah. I guess that's how they can keep selling motors because... They're definitely making motors better than they used to. Because so. I remember back when I was a kid, if a car had 100,000 miles on it, man, that thing was wore out. Like, completely trash, wore out. And now, they ain't even getting broke in at 100,000, mm -hmm. you know. Well, how good are these little flat lights like these? I have a lot of people that love them. They got a hook. And they got a magnet. And you can about get them, put them anywhere to see what's going on. Golly, them things are thin, ain't they? They are. Holy smokes. Look at that. That is cool. What are they, USB-C? charging uh no they're just they're still the little round plug i like that battery meter that's on the back let me see if i can that's pretty neat three settings and that's a nice little and you're light. talking like the thickness of a three-eighths extension yeah <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy. That is cool right there. Is them pretty salty? Um, I think they're, it's been a couple of weeks since I looked one up. 
What's the Nin- lumen 90 bucks right or so, I think. 500 lumen. Wow. Joker's thin, ain't mm-hmm. it? I like that. And it's got a good sealed charging port on it, too. Yeah. So, That's a pretty and, cool You know, read. before you grab it, you can see if how much, how much battery you got, got before you go. Yeah. I like that. Is running <clears throat> run time pretty good on them? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if it gives a rating on it or not. 2.5 hours on low. I mean, 2.5 on high and 5 hours on low. That's pretty darn good, especially mm-hmm. as skinny as it is. That thing's tiny. Well, yeah, it, it does good. That's super cool. Got some lime green stream lights in. That's a good thing. Yeah. Yep. Well. You don't have your black stone griddle in yet that you need your laser thermometer for, do you? No, but I do. I'm a fan of the laser thermometers. I had a guy come on. I guess it was Monday or so. He said, man, I got me a black stone this weekend. I need me one of them laser laser thermometers so I can read the temperature on it. <laughs> I do like them. I actually like them better than the thermal imager myself personally. A lot of people will disagree, but that thermal imager, I think it was like twelve or fourteen hundred dollars, and that was around hundred and sixty or something like that. That's a lot of difference in money, you know. And I like it. I use them it's a good quicker. Bit. Mm-hmm. I mean, you don't have to get set up. Go to the screen you want, the view you want. Yeah. You know, you can just. Well, it takes a while for that thermal imaging just to power up and get ready is the thing. You know, a lot of times you just want to see how cold the AC area is blowing out of the vent, mm-hmm. you know. Because we had one not long ago that the passenger side, the lady was like, it's not as cold as the driver's side. And I would feel of it and I couldn't tell a difference, you know, mm-hmm. but she swore up and down that the, you know, the blend door's bad. The blend door's got to be bad. Somebody told her that it was the blend door. And it was only like three degrees difference, you know. And I showed her, and if I hadn't had that thermometer, I don't. I think we'd end up putting a blend door in it. Mm-hmm. Which I mean, that's okay, but she's still been three degrees difference in temperature. Yep. And then she's gonna be like, "Ah, well, you didn't fix it right. I want it fixed again, or something like that." But after I showed her, she was fine with it, you know. She mm-hmm. said, "Well, it just feels warmer." And I said, "I don't know. It may, you know, it may cool off by the time it gets over to the driver's side. I have no idea because it's further away from where it's blowing off the fan. But mm-hmm. as far as temperature, it was only about three degrees. So. Right. Which I can always use those old school kind. You just stick down in the vents, but it makes it really fast to shoot it. You know, each side. I still carry them because yeah. that's what some people still want. You know, it's just really sh- you know quick to shoot it with that laser thermometer." And plus, they're, you know, I like it for like telling which injector is bad on a diesel. You can shoot it, and it'll tell you which one's cooler. So right on the exhaust manifold, that makes it really quick. So, well, I guess we look at y'all got some socks. Oh yeah, I didn't know Mac had socks. Short, short ones and tall ones. Well, look at y'all. Mm-hmm. That's cool. But uh, I guess we're gonna get back here and. Go back in the hell hole for a little while. <laughs> we'll make Alrighty. it through one more day. It'll be a good day. All right, guys. Like always, thank y'all for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes is in the description. If you're not subscribed, you need to click the bell and hit that button. Just push that button right there. Totally free. You guys have a great week. Catch you next time. See ya.